Hello. Wow, audience participation. My name is Vivian Martin, and I work for a substance abuse treatment center. I've created custom business apps that take our clients from the first call all the way through case management and afterwards billing through the whole process. The company is Covenant Hills Treatment Centers, and I am the director of accounting and database development. It used to just be director of accounting until I came to DevCon and everybody looked at my card and said, what are you, what are you doing here? So I added database development to my own title. I have been married for 33 years to a wonderful husband and I'd like to say right now, what happens at DevCon stays at DevCon. <laughs> I would like to make it to 34, thank you very much. I have two beautiful loving daughters. I mean, look, are they not beautiful? Come on. And I'm biological mother. <laughs> uh, Sarah and Alyssa. Sarah is 29 and Alyssa is 25. I have my Master's of Business Administration from the University of Houston. And I'm a certified University of California Cooperative Extension Master Gardener of Orange County. You guys all thought I was going to say FileMaker Developer, didn't you? <laughs> No. So I give public talks on butterfly gardening, and that's why there's butterflies on a lot of my slides. I have a butterfly garden in my backyard, and I teach other people how to do the same. Covenant Hills Treatment Centers have been, have been in business since 1994. We have 80 beds located in Southern California and outside of San Antonio, Texas. We are dual diagnosis, and unless you're in our field, you don't know what that is, so I'm going to skip over that and we are CARF accredited. This is really impart, important because CARF have standards that we have to meet in order to get this accreditation. We have to prove that our policies and procedures meet the high standards that they set. So we get an accreditation and the best accreditation you can get is for three years. Then they come back, they do a survey, Two people come for two and a half days and they look at everything we have from financials to personnel records to payroll records. They interview our staff. They're down at our treatment center. They interview our clients and they especially focus on our case management. What's really cool about this is they are people who work in our industry. They don't do this full time. They work in the drug and alcohol treatment industry and they volunteer twice a year to do these surveys. 2016, September, is when we were up for our re-accreditation. Guess what? <laughs> they were blown away by what I was able to create. My Custom business apps were the absolute star of the survey. And I, it's so important because this is an outside organization. These people come in, they know our industry, they looked at what I made, and they thought it was fantastic. I went into the conference room and one of the surveyors got up and started applauding. And I said, Wh what? I didn't, I didn't know what she, and she goes, I just saw your case management program. There's nothing like it in the industry. It's fantastic. We're trying to do something similar and we're running into a lot of problems. They can't, their people can't agree on the name of a field. You know how that is when you collaborate. So I wanted to read just a little bit. Um, they, this is from the report and there was like three paragraphs. But basically it says um, the user-friendly database keep Covenant Hills Treatment Centers at the forefront of providing excellent recovery services to persons served in an efficient and effective manner. They went on to say that it's also very user friendly and it didn't matter the user's education level or technological um, savviness. That's done, no, that didn't sound good, but you know what I'm saying. What FileMaker's done for me is make me a superhero. I was able to increase efficiency, accuracy, and employee work satisfaction. 
Why is this important? All businesses need this, right? All businesses want to make more money, be efficient, be more accurate. It's really important for us especially. Because in the last 16 years, deaths from overdoses have more than doubled. I have friends who lost their children to overdose. And in 2013, I'm sleeping in my bed and my daughter comes in and she pushes me over and wakes me up and she says, Mom, I have a problem. I had no idea that my daughter was a heroin addict. It came as a shock. We were a good family. We were involved with our kids. How could my daughter, my beautiful, talented daughter, be a heroin addict? It was devastating. Luckily, I worked where I, <laughs> in the exact perfect spot to, to give, provide her with treatment, and she came into our treatment program. And I am very happy to announce that she has three and a half years of sobriety. How does FileMaker help us? They help people. Which people? Our call center. We have crisis response counselors on the phones. When someone makes that call, they are in crisis. I didn't have to make the call. I just walked into the office. But I know that feeling. What am I going to do? We're in trouble here. The way we used to operate was by paper. Our crisis counselor is answering the phone. Well, there's two ways to pay. You either have cash or you have insurance. Okay, well, let's fill out the paperwork and find out how much money you need to come into our treatment center. We have to check with the insurance. We have to get our contracted rates. We have to find out what their deductible is. Then we have to find out how much they met for that deductible. Then we have to find out how much that copay is. And then we have to do all the calculations on that information and come up with an amount that they have to pay. This person's in crisis and sitting there waiting to find out if they can afford to come into treatment. That person then takes that paperwork and goes and has to get it approved. And before I did, I worked for years before I implemented the system. Not once did they get those calculations right. I'm telling you, they're great on the phone. They are not good at calculations. What happens? They take this paper. They go to our director of administration for approval. Who's on the phone? We're missing calls. We're missing these crisis calls because we are so inefficient in the way we're doing business. FileMaker changed that. FileMaker changed all that. I have all the contracted rates loaded. They enter the information in fields, and FileMaker immediately lets them know how much money they need to come in. Our director of administration gets an IM just with the file number, not with any names or anything like that, Mr. Blackwell. I just want you to know that. And is able to pull up uh, the information and approve it right there. That helps everybody. That saves time. So, our case management program. When someone comes in, uh, we have to design a treatment plan to help that person. And we, I was able to preload treatment plans, and then we customize it for each person. What this does when we have these preloaded treatment plans, there's consistency through all of our treatment centers. We start with this, and there's lots of different treatment plans. It depends on the person. And we start with a, a treatment plan that fits them pretty well, and then we customize it so that we're consistent and more accurate in our assessments. You guys are not going to believe the way we used to have to do our treatment team meetings. Every week, we have a treatment team meeting. And what that is, it's our clinical director, our program director, our case managers, and our therapists. And they review every single client we have in treatment. Do you know how big our client records were? 500 pages to 1,000 pages. We have 24 beds at our men's facility. And all of those records had to be carted to the meeting. Then, as they review each client, they had to pass that around. Efficient? 
I think not. Now what do they do? Everybody's on their iPads. Everybody's talking about the, the client together. All the information is right there, and it's organized, and they can find what they need immediately. This helps with treatment. You know, th they can communicate better. It's right there. And there's not that liability of someone falling down as they're carrying 24 heavy boxes, 24 client records in boxes. I wanted to talk about finances and how it's helped money-wise. Money is a big buzzword when it comes to business. Our insurance claim forms were done by paper. My director of administration had to come in two Saturdays a month just to get that done. So initially, all I did was using FileMaker was for a word processor. It pulled all the information and then it printed on a UBO4 form. It's still paper. We'd mail that UBO4 form off to the insurance company. Snail mail. They get it. They look at it. Then they go, oh, there's an error. There's a code error. They reject it. We find out it's rejected. We do it again. We send it off. When are we getting paid? Not yet. Payment hadn't even, not even entered in the system. So now what do we do? Now we are able to upload our file to the clearinghouse. The clearinghouse looks at it immediately, reads all the fields, says, oh, this is the wrong code in this field. We find out within 30 minutes that a claim has been rejected. We go in to the website, we change the claim, and it's submitted immediately. And the insurance company can't say, oh, we never got that, sorry. We know they got it. Our payments have gone from 45 days to 60 days, and we have seen it in as little as 12 days. That's pretty cool. That's money in our pocket. Um, those same records that I'm talking about that are 500 pages, what do you do when the client leaves? Throw it away? No, you do not. You have to store it. You have to store it securely. And guess what? Those companies that, that store it, they don't do it for free. They charge you to pick it up. They charge you to store it. And God forbid, if you have to retrieve it, you get charged again and it's 50 bucks. And it's not instantaneous. It takes th th three days to get it. What do we do now? It's stored electronically. We have instant access to that information. And how much does it cost to retrieve us, to, to retrieve a record? No additional cost. I'm not gonna try to evaluate the cost of <laughs> purchasing FileMaker and storage and all that, but no additional cost at all. Compliance. We have to be, we have to meet state regulations, we have to meet CARF regulations, and FileMaker helps us demonstrate what we're doing and shows that we are in compliance. Our records are stored encryption at rest. Yay, <laughs> Mr. Blackwell. And um, so they're securely stored. However, they're accessed instantly. How great is that? Our clients are at risk of not living Every year, we do our best. We hear someone who didn't make it, someone who died. The work we do is life or death. How does FileMaker help? 95% reduce paperwork. Our staff is spending more time with our clients, less stressed. All the information's right there. It translates into better treatment. And better treatment translates to better outcomes, fewer deaths from overdose. How it started was I couldn't do my job. I, I had to get financial information 
and it was just so difficult. So I started, I started doing a FileMaker development for selfish reasons, just to help me get my job done. My boss didn't understand databases, so I have to admit this, I was an underco undercover FileMaker developer. I had to do it behind my boss's back, I had to do it at lunch, I had to do it after work, I had to do it on weekends. Whenever he was around and I was doing it, I had to cover it up because if he saw me doing it, I was in trouble. It's amazing I didn't get fired over it, but I didn't. He'd be like, where are my financials? What are you doing? And he just didn't understand the potential of what I could do with FileMaker. Now that was a long time ago. I've kind of created a monster out of him because now he's like, I, you need to develop this because we need that. And now he's like all over me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know if this is a good thing that I, I brought him over to the, you know, to the good side. So it started with me meeting my needs, but now it's meeting everybody else's needs. Sometimes I just see what someone's doing because I'm right there. And I'll go, you're doing it that way? FileMaker can really help with that. So that's how it evolves. It started small, it's grown from, like I said, first call all the way through treatment, insurance billing all the way through. We are Covenant Hills Treatment Centers and we change lives. FileMaker custom business apps are a really big part of that. Do I have any questions or comments? Okay, that's it, guys. That's it. <laughs> this is my contact information. Carmen and I talked about, should we put our cell phones numbers on there? And I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> so, I mean, unless you really want my cell phone number. But um, this is my contact information, and feel free to send me an email if you have any questions. But do we have any questions here in the audience? We do. And wait a minute, wait a minute. I really can't see you except for your hand is up. There we go. Oh, Albert! Is this going to be a heckling question? <laughs> no. <laughs> Pardon? You know what? They, they told us not to. They said this is not to demonstrate your app. And so I'm just taking orders from them. But if you want to see it, actually you've, actually, you've actually seen it last year. So, but I would love to show it to you. Guys, this is my passion. I love this. So if, you know, I could, I do have Vivian Martin as a client in there. <laughs> She's been in there forever. <laughs> she should get some help. But um, if you guys want to see it, I, Catch me sometime and I'd be happy to help you. I'm sorry, he had his hand up. Oh. Um, so first question, are you the only one developing for the app? I'm so glad you said that. Thank you. I am. So I lived in an island just by myself. And I got to tell you, coming to DevCon has given me more confidence. Not just the skill level, just more confidence and making, there's a whole bunch of friends I have in here and when I have a problem I know I can turn to them. It's been great, but no, at work I am, I am the FileMaker developer and when I get something really exciting, look how I figured out how to do this, I go to someone and they go. <laughs> I'm in the same boat, so i oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, I found out there's a benefit to that. Yeah. We're alone, but we don't have to argue with anybody on how to do anything, <laughs> right? Right? That's uh, a benefit. Second question then, are, do you have it for, set up for desktop use in the call center and then iPad use for meetings? Like, do you support both platforms or is it all iPad based? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's Macs, it's uh, MacBook Pros, it's iPads, I don't have it, you know, it's, there's so much information, a phone is just too no. darn small for what we need, so no, I don't, but every, we have, it's cross-platform, I mean, we just have a lot of, actually, we also have a couple of PCs in our Texas facility, so yeah. Very cool. And then, um, how many people are utilizing it? Do you have like a We have 75 setup? employees, and except for our drivers, our actual drivers who drive 
the client surround, mm -hmm. everybody in our company uses my application in one form or another. That's awesome. Very Thank good. You. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Doug, I'm, yes. My server is a few steps from my desk, yes. Did you miss that part? Well, you said that you submit it, but I'm wondering whether you just email things or whether you somehow. No, we go to their website. Okay, guys, I, this was amazing. I had to create a text file that was, um, is it space delimited? It had to be just right, and I couldn't figure it out. I, for two weeks, I worked on trying to figure it out, and I just couldn't do it. I kept uploading. I kept getting rejected. And I was, a t I was taking a class, the John Mark Osborne and uh, Stephen Blackwell class, and I, I said, I don't know how to do this. And John Mark Os Osborne goes, did it leap here, I'll send it to you, like that. <laughs> so I create a text file, and it could have, it could have 100 claims on it. We go to the website and we upload it. So that's how that works. And you know what, guys? Miss um, Carmen has to get set up. I'll take one more question. But you know what? I'm here. I'll be here all week. And uh, please find me if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer it. Uh, are you using separate layouts for iPads and desktops? Or are you able to utilize the same ones? OK, so our case management system is pretty much on iPads. And a few, a few times they access it with uh, the MacBook Pro. So I don't care if it looks too big on the MacBook Pro, but I do care if it looks too small on, the, um, on, my, on my iPads. So I, the case management is, on, is optimized for iPads. Got it. OK, guys. Miss Carmen is presenting next. And um, thank you so much for coming. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I do that right? Oh, yeah. Okay, I got to tell you something. I had 33 slides originally, and we cut it down to this, and they're really cool slides. So if you go and look at them, it's a really cool presentation. So I'm going to update it, and it's gonna, you're, you'll see what I have here. But kind of check out the 33 slides. They're pretty cool. <clears throat> thank you.